hey what's up daniel here and today's video i'm going to show you the market recap for 18th of october to 22nd and we've gone through the forex market preview previous round so i had this uh zones all mark the week before and let's see where we are right now for each pairs so let's take a look at aussie cat first right so previously let's look uh, okay previously we had price ranging just below this support become resistance zone which i marked earlier for the week and now it has broken up against this resistance zone coming back into the zone so i'm anticipating a buy right is to me safe to buy above this i mean during in, in, in this zone and also we can look up for targets around the next immediate resistance okay that that will bring us about uh 115 pips okay we could potentially raise just about here well 200 plus yeah 20 pips sorry yeah about 20 pips so that is about for aussie cat it's broken above the previous resistance now become support we can even look at a smaller time frame so basically this is how i see things so we can look at new zealand cat perhaps it could be similar yeah new zealand cat has broken way above the resistance level that i marked earlier so we are right now pulsing perhaps going back to the resistance become support zone here so the next one we could be potentially looking at perhaps this range right or also we can look at perhaps this much here yeah that is my thoughts for new zealand cat pound cat we have not yet broken okay somehow it just penetrated out a bit of this resistance area right so i have a sell stop my my sentiment is a sell for this pair that we can even go lower or can actually bounce off this support this is some some sort of support zone and so because you see pound cat the pattern has been such that it's been bouncing off this area so it could actually took off take off from here and we do not know yet so let's go for usd cat usd cat is still ranging in this zone within this support and this resistance here so things are still not clear but perhaps we if we have we are looking for a sell we can wait for the price to come back up here which means us dollars would have to strengthen for the upcoming week okay so if we have we're probably going to raise about 25 plus pips and back down to 100 plus pips which is actually a good risk to reward ratio well let's look at euro pound so euro has been strengthening against the pound for the week okay uh, i'm not looking at this trade anymore so let's look at cat dpy so previously on cat dpy if we look at the weekly we can look at the resistance zone here it just has bounced off resistance for the weekly so we are coming back down in to the previous resistance which has become support so if you are looking for a buy this could be a potential buy zone risking about maybe 100 plus pips and it could potentially fly off even further to about 700 plus pips but of course you have to take note of uh, this zone as well right so it's about another 200 plus pips that is to say if canada is going to strengthen in the near future so all the us dollars let's just look at all the us dollars let's zoom in a bit aussie has been strong so far it, uh, it has broken the previous resistance now it has become support well actually i placed a buy limit and it is it wasn't triggered for the week so where we can potentially look for a buy to about 100 plus pips to the next uh 
support become resistance which have yet to be tested so i have a running trade which is resilient yen yeah so the reason i took this trade was because i see this resistance zone here and i've struggled into the smaller time frame and this is a very good example of support the resistance trade see so it was going through an uptrend right like so and, and then what happened was price broke down this trend line came back broke the support there's the support here let me just zoom in for you and throw away this trend line okay it was a support zone it broke out bounce back up and this was a and this was actually an ideal sell zone for you to sell and it could potentially actually go back up here All right this is also a resistance that has become support so perhaps i can target to here why here okay let me show you let's look at the daily daily yeah this is one of the resistance that has become support okay. perhaps this is the only one that we can see clearly this my friend here is your resistant become support zone so it's probably around this range and we are potentially looking at about 128 pips okay so basically that's what we have for the market recap for the week of 18 october to 22nd october take care my friend thank you that's all